What's up, you guys? It's Barb City, where it's always motherfucking Liddy. I want to get into this situation with Botsy B yet being triggered by something so simple. I feel like because she cannot get close to Nicki Minaj and start a fight with her, she's now trying to reach out to everybody attached to Nicki Minaj. I did a video on this the other day if you want to go check it out, but you guys will never believe how far she reached out today. She literally tried to start a fight with one of Nicki Minaj's artists that she signed to her label that goes by the name of Tate Cobain. He literally did absolutely nothing wrong. He did what he always does, which is uh, mention Nicki Minaj on his Twitter. He simply quoted her lyrics. That's it. He quoted her lyrics from her song, Blick Blick, that she did with Koi Ray. right? Now, let's go on ahead and go over that. He said, all those PR stunts, but B, which we all know, again, are Nicki Minaj's lyrics, and he's always showing love to Nicki Minaj. This is nothing new. But here comes Botsy B, triggered for absolutely no reason, as we know, yesterday she was doing a performance and during the performance, somebody threw water on her and she ended up throwing the microphone at the person and she's been trending ever since. So I can imagine her being triggered by this because it's probably true. But she said, how you have grown a man subbing me? I don't give a F who gassing you grown a man. Watch your mouth when you're addressing me. Now, someone did end up pointing something out and pretty much exposing Botsy B for what she said she does, stalking Nicki Minaj and the Barbs, and obviously Nicki Minaj's artist as well. It's just like, how did you even know about this tweet? You know, the person said all he tweeted was PR stunts and the shoe fit instantly. She just exposed herself. <laughs> <laughs> okay like girl that is your fault now let's get to the comments uh cardi didn't mind men being in women's business when she sent men to go attack the women offset cheated with she didn't mind men being in women's business when her bestie jason lee and kim barbie harass women every single day Everything she cries about, she does to other people. She's a delusional, idiotic hypocrite that lacks all self-awareness. And we all know this is 100% true. You bitch! How dare you? Oh my god! Okay, so... Um, here were some more comments. One person said, B's mad in his quotes and comments when he don't give a F. And of course, take quote Cobain retweeted that and said, not one. They talking about go produce good beats in the quotes as if he didn't win a Grammy from producing a Beyonce song. How they mad you tweeting Nikki's lyrics, LMFAO, and Tay Cobain said, cuz these whores is weird. <laughs> now, I do feel like Nicki Minaj caught some wind of this she did make a couple of tweets and y'all know i pay attention to everything that Nicki minaj does so this is just in my opinion okay as you can see right here she says all you gotta do is say or tweet pink friday two three times and y'all know the barbs we started doing exactly that and i don't think that that's what she meant i think that she's saying like all you got to do is mention Pink Friday and everybody's scrambling because just earlier today, she also said this, that Pink Friday two top gonna do it every time. So 
like I said, y'all, the queen just be knowing what she's talking about. They just don't know how to act, you know, when the queen's about to try. <laughs> okay, <let's touch> <laughs> Someone also asked Tate Cobang, thoughts on the current sound in hip hop? Are you ready for it to change? And Tate Cobang said, wish Pink Friday 2 would hurry up and drop. It's getting boring out here. Embarrassing. Now, also, you guys, Nicki Minaj did clock Cardi B's tea today. As you guys can see right here, she posted this to her Instagram with other pictures as well. Look at Flawless. But this is also Cardi B yesterday. Y'all know she tries to say that everybody's copying her fashion, especially the new girl. She says that she's setting trends. So I just want to point that out. Okay, she's definitely just not the trendsetter here. A lie. Like, look at how quick she lied. But anyways, you guys, let me know what you guys think about all of that. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Thanks.